These days, most modern 3D printers just work without turning constant maintenance into another full-time hobby. But a few quick and simple tasks can go a long way into keeping them running smoothly. Today we're going to be looking at the primary maintenance task that you should try to do with your H2 range of Bamboo Lab printers. So let's take a look. Cleaning and re-greasing the Z-axis lead screws is a common maintenance task across printers which you may have already heard of, and I recently published a video looking specifically at that with my tips on how to make it an even quicker and easier task to complete. But there are a few other quick and simple maintenance tasks that you should try to keep on top of regularly. With the exception of one specific task which I'll be making reference to, but covering in a separate dedicated video, everything in this video will be the same for the H2D, H2S and H2C. There will be some tasks that are specific if you're using the laser module, but I will mention that when I cover them. If you are using the laser module, it's even more important to keep on top of doing these tasks, as using the laser in that system is going to cause a quicker buildup of residue on those internal parts, so you want to keep on top of the maintenance to keep things running smoothly. Today we're focusing on cleaning and lubricating the x-axis linear rails and the y-axis linear rods, something that your printer is likely to remind you to do. We'll be revisiting the z-axis lead screws and touching on the z-axis linear rods. And then we'll be finishing up with a few other quick and easy maintenance tasks that you can do whilst we're already here. One other fairly regular maintenance task, which is specific to the H2D and presumably the H2C, is cleaning and oiling the nozzle lift linear rail, which is the part that the left nozzle will slide up and down on when the printer is switching between nozzles. Whilst easy, it is a bit more of a hands-on process than what we're covering here, involving unscrewing and removing a part, so I'll be covering that in a dedicated video which I'll be releasing very soon and linking to in the video description once it's out. Right, let's move on with today's maintenance tasks. Before we get started, you're going to need two or more small clean microfiber towels, just make sure that they're the type that won't shed lint or fibers, some isopropyl alcohol spray, some synthetic grease, some synthetic oil, and some paper towel. The printer should come with a small sachet and tube of grease and oil, but when they run out, rather than buying more small ones from Bamboo Lab, it works out much cheaper in the long run to get larger ones elsewhere. I highly recommend Superlube Synthetic Oil with PTFE and Superlube Synthetic Grease, which I'll link to in the video description. And finally, if you're following my workflow for the Z-axis screws, you'll want some gear floss. Again, I'll link to this below. Let's start out with the X-axis linear rails and assembly. First off, let's move the bill plate all the way to the bottom, and then move the tool head all the way to one side. I'm going to start with moving mine to the left. Once they're in place, power your printer off. Taking one of your microfiber cloths, fold it into a manageable size if it's a little large, and spray it with isopropyl alcohol. You don't need to absolutely drench it, just dampen it with the alcohol. The alcohol will evaporate pretty quickly, so try not to wait too long between spraying and cleaning. Next, with the cloth, gently but firmly wipe it along all surfaces of the x-axis linear rails. Do each side in turn, then sandwich the belt between a clean part of the cloth which still has some alcohol on it and very gently brush it along both lengths of the belt. Now move the extruder to the opposite end of the x-axis and repeat this process with the rail and the belt. Now it's clean, we need to apply the new oil to the rail. It's important to note that different parts of the printer require either oil or grease, so make sure you're using the right lubricant on the right components. The x-axis linear rails require oil. So take your oil and run a small amount along the top of the front extrusion of the rail, and then do the same along the underside of that front extrusion. Once you've applied it, carefully and slowly move the tool head to the other side of the x-axis and apply a little more oil to the areas on the top and bottom of the linear rail where it was previously covered. Then slowly move the tool head left and right to the full extent of the x-axis to ensure that the oil is evenly distributed. 
Now it's important to note that whilst even Bamboo Lab recommends during this maintenance to move the axes manually by hand with the printer turned off, it's important that you do this slowly and carefully as doing it too quickly could cause the motors to act as dynamos, effectively generating electricity and putting it into the system. This isn't something that you need to be scared of though, just something you should be careful with as like I said even Bamboo Lab themselves recommend to do this manually when you're doing maintenance. Next up, let's clean and lubricate the Y-axis linear rods. We're now effectively going to do the same thing with the Y-axis rods. Slowly and carefully move the tool head all the way to the left, and then position the X-axis around halfway along the Y-axis rods, so it's running through the centre of the printer. Spray a clean microfiber cloth with isopropyl alcohol, then run it along the front half of the Y-axis rods a couple of times, ensuring you're cleaning all around it. One way to do this is to carefully wrap the cloth around the rod, which will help ensure that you're getting both sides of the rod. Do the same for the half of the rod at the back of the printer, then move the x-axis backwards and clean the obscured areas of the rod in the middle. Now the rods are clean, we want to apply the lubricant. Again, we want to use oil, so apply a small amount of oil evenly across the length of the rod, then move the x-axis forward and backward to help spread it out. Finally, move the y-axis to the middle, slide the tool head to the right of the printer and then repeat again on the other side. Next we have the z-axis lead screws and z-axis linear rods. Due to their thread, the z-axis lead screws are a little more awkward to clean than rails and rods, but as I mentioned earlier, I've already published a dedicated video showing you how you can do this, making it quick and easy. I will show you quickly the general method here, but I highly recommend before doing it you go and watch that dedicated video, ensuring that you fully understand the process so you don't damage your printer whilst doing it. It's basically the same process of cleaning and lubricating, but instead of oil you use grease, and instead of a microfiber cloth I would suggest using gear floss. You can do both the z-axis lead screws and linear rods at the same time, just make sure that you're using grease for the lead screws and oil for the rods. Whilst I cover the z-axis lead screws, what I don't cover in that video are the z-axis linear rods, but this is effectively the same process that we've just run through with the x and the y. To start, spray a clean microfiber towel with alcohol and clean all three linear rods. With some gear floss, loop it twice around one of the lead screws, then run it up and down each of the lead screws to clean them. Whilst the X and Y axis can be moved slowly by hand with the printer off, the Z axis does need to be moved with the motors, so power the printer on and move the bolt plate up a bit, then clean the rods and screws beneath it as well. With all three sets cleaned, move the bed back down to the bottom. Now apply a thin line of oil on the linear rods, grease on the lead screws and move the bed all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom of the printer a couple of times to fully spread out the lube. The easiest way to move the bed all the way to the top is to just hit the home button. If there's a buildup of excess grease at each end of the lead screws, after you've done this you can carefully clean that off with some paper towel. You can now turn the printer back off again. Again, if you're using my recommendation of gear floss, I'd recommend checking out my dedicated video on lead screw cleaning, which covers it more precisely to avoid damaging your printer. They are the main tasks, but there's a couple more things that are good to do, which only take a minute or two when you're already prepped with your cleaning gear, so let's quickly run through them. If it's currently fitted, remove your build plate and spray isopropyl alcohol directly onto the magnetic heat bed underneath. Then wipe it down with a clean microfiber cloth, wiping down both the black magnetic surface as well as the edges and QR codes. The nozzle camera is located underneath the tool head behind the nozzles. With your microfiber cloth lightly sprayed with alcohol, reach underneath your tool head and clean the nozzle camera lens and surrounding area. Slide the flow blocker to the other side and clean the other side of the camera. Next you can clean the tool head camera located to the right of the tool head. Give this lens a quick wipe with the cloth too. Whilst we're in camera cleaning mode, give the live view camera in the front left corner a wipe so as to keep those time lapses crispy clean. If you're running the H2 laser edition, you'll also have a bird's eye camera located in the centre of the top part of the frame at the front. 
This brings me nicely onto one other quick thing you can do if you are running an H2 Laser Edition. The H2 Laser Edition features four flame sensors, one in each top corner of the frame. Give each of these a wipe down with a clean microfiber cloth. As I mentioned, the other key maintenance task specific to the H2D and the H2C is cleaning and oiling the lifting rail for the left nozzle. I've got that coming out in the next day or two and I'll pop a link in the description when it's done. There are a few other minor maintenance tasks which Bamboo Lab recommends, such as wiping the screen on the front or cleaning the QR code on the front of the nozzles, but they're mainly common sense jobs that you can just tackle if it looks dirty. If you're regularly heavily using the laser module on your printer, there are going to be other things you'll want to clean more regularly, but I'll be producing another video covering the maintenance tasks specific to the laser module soon. Just a reminder, I'll pop links in the video description to all the items I've mentioned in this video. I really hope you found that useful, and if you did, a like would be greatly appreciated. If you've been granted access to the new hype button, hitting that would also make me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Whilst from some of my recent videos it may seem like I'm a cleaning focused channel, I can assure you that much of the time my workshop is the epicenter of an explosion of organised chaos. I've got loads of fun and interesting videos on the way, covering designs and builds that I'm working on, as well as 3D printing and make tech tutorials and deep dives, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. I'm excited to announce a new range of 3D printing and maker themed t-shirts, hoodies and more are now available on 3drevolutionstore.com. Just a reminder, channel members get a perpetual discount on that store in addition to other bonus goodies. For now, and as always, thanks very much everyone, and until next time, happy printing. A special thanks to my 3D revolutionaries, my channel members, for keeping me going. If you'd like to join them, getting early access to my videos, a discount on my store and more, hit the join button below any of my videos. For now, why not chuck on one of my cleaning tutorials or pop on one of my other videos to learn something new or have some fun. Thanks very much everyone and until next time, happy printing.